Do like a, a side part. My hair orange and you wearing an orange dress and I'm wearing black. <laughs> and your hair black. <laughs> Jose, oh. after 15 years, you finally did it. <laughs> yeah, though. <laughs> I got it. So, um, I just pulled up to Joe's graduation party and I didn't do an introduction. If you're new here, oh, let me turn this music off. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, you already know what it is. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Um, so, but my hair is done. We got the ginger wig going, you know, period. Yeah, y'all, so I'm getting ready for his graduation party. Um, you guys have been hearing me talk about it in almost every vlog and I think we're gonna do we're gonna flip it over and do like a side part All right, y'all we are done like, getting dressed. Oh, let me keep that on This is the vibes. It, it does in the dark. Remember we, that one time we were outside watching that movie. Oh Okay, we're getting terrible lighting right here. I don't, I don't like because there's no lighting. lighting. We're getting ash lighting. I'm gonna need them to figure out which way they gonna park. Trying to back up. I'm doing a great job right now. It's cute though. Oh yeah. Girl, talk about your hair. My hair orange and you wearing an orange dress and I'm wearing black. <laughs> and your hair black. I, I know. This whole outfit. And then the Listen, you right on time. 
Right on time. <clears throat> Come on up. <laughs> now, I hope you practiced or wrote it down or did something while you were driving. Am I, what am I, the great uncle, the great great uncle or somewhere along the person, along the way. I am the oldest family member here from Josiah's grandmother's side. Find your life after college as fulfilling as your life has been at college. I'm extremely proud of you for what you've done and will be even more proud of you for what you're going to do. <clears throat> good evening, good evening, good evening. I don't know why you're looking like that, bro. You scared? Huh? <laughs> you worried about what I'm going to say? No. Okay, you got your track gears on? No. You got them on today? Yeah. Now let me tell you what's going on here. For the last couple of years, every time he comes to Atlanta, I take him outside and I beat him. 100 meter dash, keep beating him. Oh. Hey, and he's still trying evidence. to beat me. I was, yeah, we got videos. You, yeah. you wanna, I can show the video tonight. I brought the video. You lost. You see, mommy's picking up for him. Tonight. You see that? That's a great mom. And that's what I'm talking about. He has a great supporting cast. Always had a great supporting cast. And we're all proud of you for what you have accomplished. The, this young man right here, he has overcome a lot. And when I say overcome a lot, he made whatever he sets his mind to, he goes to accomplish it. He never gave up on anything. No matter how small you might think he is, he has a big heart, a big heart. Still, you haven't beat me yet though. <laughs> I gotta keep reminding him. But, you know, I always challenge him. And when I say I challenge him, it's because I know that he's always able to do more than what he thinks he can give. And right now, I'm so proud of you. We all are proud of you, you know? Even coming out of high school, you showed us that, hey, I got great potential. Now, you're showing us that you have bigger potential. I'm just wondering what is next because you keep overcoming every obstacle that's been placed in front of you. So, yo, the world is yours to take. Continue doing what you're doing, and we're here to support you. So right now I'm getting ready. Um, I just washed my face. Um, I know this vlog has been a little bit. Hold on, you guys. I know this vlog has been a little bit wonky just because I decided to I decided to start a different vlog than the one I was doing because. It's a totally different concept. So sorry if the vlog is kind of weird, you know? Um, I'm sure he'll end up seeing this vlog soon. Um, but today is his graduation day. Um, I didn't, he didn't get to attend my graduation because his family had to 
get up here and, and you know go home because his dad has his own business so it was a little bit it was a little different so I'm, I'm glad i can be here for his graduation okay y'all i'm back i'm not i decided not to do any makeup today um Honestly, I just don't feel like it. I guess I might do maybe a light contour. The lightest, the lightest contour. Because I'm not really trying to put on makeup. But just because I might have to drive back to my own school today. Um, which gets me into... Like, I guess how I feel about the whole thing. Like, I'm I'm happy for him that he's graduating. But I'm also sad for me because he has to move. He has to move back to Florida. So, I mean, you can only be so happy, right? And I think that is the thing in relationships, like, you know, everybody, shit, I'm going to have to watch that. Everybody has their own, you know, thing that they're doing. And, like, even though we have plans in the future, um, you know, I can't stop him from going home, you know. Which is, like... the saddest part about it because you just have this sense of not having any power over what's going on you know so that's really where I'm at like I'm happy he's graduating because you know we can start doing things that we want to do but at the same time it's just like it's not you know, like it's just not there. So all I can do is put my happy face on, put my smile on from the outside, and let him have his day. Because um, that's all I can do, right? I don't have to. I look I, I look good without makeup. I put on some lip glosses, some lip liner, and call it a day, baby. So, I'm about to finish doing this and then get dressed. Um, I thought about putting on lashes, but I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like doing that either. So, I'm going to get dressed and let y'all see the outfit. Because last night, y'all, I didn't even get pictures. That's what made me so bad. Like, I didn't even get to get pictures. But yeah, it's 9-11, graduation starts at 10, so I need to finish getting dressed. Of course, I will be recording the whole thing, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And if you're one of those people that are not interested in seeing our lives, that's fine. Unsubscribe for me because y'all will be seeing more of him on the channel. Um, possibly we might even have our own channel, so I don't know yet, but yeah. I'll see you guys later. Alright, y'all, here's the outfit. Um, just wearing this turtleneck, this crop turtleneck from Strap Cider. Um, blazer is thrifted, oversized, and then I'm wearing this trench coat. And then I also have on this kind of, um, fitted skirt um if that makes sense and then i'll have on the boots i had on yesterday but i'm pretty much done getting dressed now i'm done getting dressed now so i'm about to head over to graduation and i need to change my battery
would be a good time to turn your cell phone to silent if you haven't already done so. Thank you. Everything will This morning, uh, I welcome to the platform several special guests. Our commencement speaker, Mr. Eric Taylor, Ms. Pam Curry, trustee and president of... Anaya Neshe Hall, honor graduate, magna cum laude. Yes, Anaya! Gabriella Susanna Graydon. Hope Elizabeth Tasker, honor graduate, cum laude. Joshua Wayne Campbell. Oh, Lord. Woo! Yes, Joshua! Tyree Deshaun David. Woo! It's okay. Bradley Ryan <laughs> Dixon. That boy, Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would do that. Yeah, I would do that so, my middle school graduation. In addition to the degree you've received today, it's my honor to recognize this class of graduates as the newest members in the Emanuel College Alumni Association. You're joining an organization of over 9,000 members with EC graduates impacting lives. Hey, you guys. It's a little bit later. Um, we just finished moving out Joe from his... Um, housing apartment or whatever you want to call it from his room so we want to head to the family house and then we're going to head out to go eat I guess so my lips are a little chapped so it, yeah they just feel a little 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 dry this winter weather but yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. And of course, um, I'll keep y'all updated. I feel a little better now, but I'm still a little bit sad. Like, he's happy though. That's all I can hope for.